Mesh Fusion is a non-destructive advanced Boolean workflow that enables you to use union, subtraction, and intersection of objects to create complex meshes. It's recommended to work with all quad sub-D meshes as any other type of polygon will be converted to quads before a fusion operation. For this video, I'd like to use this real-world example that was provided by an artist on the Foundry forums that needed assistance in creating a sole unit for a shoe. I saw this as an opportunity to help him with his project as well as introduce you to Mesh Fusion. Using his provided mesh items, let's create a fusion setup. Since the ultimate goal is to create a sole of a shoe, I'll start by converting the base sole mesh item as a fusion item using the new fusion button located in the fusion sub tab of the model toolbar. Click the new fusion with selected meshes button to create a new fusion item. The artist wanted the pattern for sole mesh item to cut away portions of the sole so I'll select that mesh item, shift select the sole mesh item, and then use the apply subtractive trim option. The provided source file included a mesh item named cut shape to trim pattern, which could be used to subtract portions of the pattern for sole mesh, but I went ahead and created a much more simple mesh item. Instead of using another subtractive trim, I thought we could use the apply intersect trim instead just to see a different option. It's also what I would use if I were setting this up as it's easier to create and cleaner to edit. Simply select the new shape, followed by the mesh item you want to intersect and click the apply intersect trim button. We're almost finished, but the original subtractive mesh had intersecting geometry which produced undesirable results. To fix this, I'll place the portion that's intersecting in its own mesh item. Then I'll select the new mesh item along with the pattern for sole mesh item and click the Apply Primary button. Next, select the Intersect Cutter and then the New Mesh item and use the Trim option. If we click the Source Mesh Visibility button, we can get a clean look at the mesh we've created. If we select the Fusion item and then click the Update Strips Items button, this will allow us to click on the Mesh Fusion strips and adjust their width and profile attributes. While this is a simple example, it should give you an idea of how much control you can have over which items are affected by the operations. Mesh Fusion offers a wide array of options that enable you to create incredibly complex meshes, so be sure to explore all that it has to offer.